Hi, my name is Matthew Jester, and this is Hypnosis and Drawings, part one of two. So I'm going to go ahead and get started with my introduction. Um, let's see. I have a certificate of completion to show that I'm competent and certified in the field of hypnosis. This is from Mike Mandel Hypnosis Academy. And I'm going to get started with the introduction now. Please watch my video, Hypnosis, Abuse, and Speech Inhibition. I will leave a link to watch the video in the description. I will also leave additional links in the, in the description of other relevant videos. I've been abused with hypnosis. My body speak is being inhibited with hypnosis, which is why I have to read everything when I make videos. If you notice me stuttering, speaking slowly, being unable to speak clearly, or any other difficulty speaking, I explain in detail the specific methods and techniques that are being used to inhibit my body speak in my video, Hypnosis, Abuse, and Speech Inhibition. These issues speaking occur consistently in each of my videos, specifically within the first three minutes. The hypnosis inhibiting my ability to speak is often very noticeable throughout my videos and I will leave a list of the various hypnotic commands that are specifically being used to inhibit my ability to speak that can be recognized in my body language, facial expressions, tone of voice, and speech patterns in the description. And, let's see. In this video, I'm going to explain how I was hypnotized to draw as a method of concealing my ability to write being inhibited by hypnosis. In the next video, Hypnosis and Drawings Part 2 of 2, I will show some examples of the drawings in detail explaining the picture's symbolism and how the pictures are evidence that an organized crime operation pre-mediated death threats to the celebrity Billie Eilish utilizing hypnosis. And this is an article that we're going to be referencing. And this is some examples of the pictures that I was hypnotized to draw. These are individual pictures I was hypnotized to draw. And it has the description of the symbolism um, for each individual picture and then this is what they look like as a fin finished project just a couple examples there so anyways moving on I was hypnotized to inhibit my ability to speak prior to being framed for assault charges that I didn't commit so that I wouldn't be able to defend myself in court forcing me to enter a plea of no contest which allowed the prosecutor to convict me without having to present any evidence in trial the hypnosis was used to completely inhibit my ability to comp competently defend myself in court and consult with my attorney by using hypnosis to inhibit my ability to speak, repress my memory while speaking, and inhibit my ability to write. I was hypnotized to inhibit my ability to write so that I wouldn't be able to adapt to the hypnosis, repressing my memory and in inhibiting my ability to speak by writing down a defense for my case, rendering me completely defense defenseless in court. One method of concealing the hypnosis being used to inhibit my ability to write was by telling me they were going to help me improve my handwriting with hypnosis by hypnotizing me to alter the curvature and shape of the letter formation in my handwriting. They convinced me they were using hypnosis to help me improve my handwriting so that I wouldn't question the alterations in my handwriting and realize my ability to write was being inhibited by hypnosis. One of the methods of inhibiting my ability to write with hypnosis was by making my hand twitch or cramp while writing, causing me to make a mistake in my handwriting that I wouldn't be able to erase because I wasn't given an eraser or a pencil with an eraser while in jail and only given limited amounts of paper on request forms. So I couldn't just keep rewriting it. I was hypnotized to draw over the mistakes in my handwriting with pictures of very specific simple objects that each had specified meanings that were relevant to my specific situation as a method to get me to stop trying to write in order to prevent me from noticing the hypnosis was inhibiting my ability to write to an abnormal extreme. I started writing, I need help, I need my meds, the jail guards are abusing me, Adult Protective Services, American Civil Liberties Union, Division of Occupational and Professional Licensing, and give me medical care or give me death on the walls of the jail. And in order to change what I was writing, I was hypnotized to write song names of my favorite artist and to draw pictures to make it look like a piece of artwork I was doodling that wasn't different from what other inmates were drawing on the walls. So that... The jail wouldn't get shut down for me writing about abuse on the walls. An example of this was writing the song name I Need a Doctor by Eminem, Skylar Gray, and Dr. Dre. Because the song had relevance to the situation and I was hypnotized to keep writing song names and even drawing pictures that turned into an artistic collage. The pictures I was hypnotized to draw were simple, were extremely simple and easy to draw because I'm not good at drawing and if it wasn't easy, I wouldn't have done it. The drawings were mostly pertaining to music, hypnosis, abuse, how I almost jumped off a flight of stairs and broke my legs in jail because the only way I could get the medications I needed was by hospitalizing myself. Several pictures about death and murder and several pictures were used to conceal the hypnosis. I mean, sorry, several pictures were used to conceal the pictures about death and murder because there was too much evidence of it. Eminem's album called Music to be Murdered by was a method of making all the pictures about death and murder seem normal because it was about music and my favorite artist was Eminem. The artwork was used as a form of Therapy that allowed me to process unresolved trauma and cope with the death of my friend when I found him dead in the woods, and the pictures were used to distract me and stop me from writing and defending myself in court. 
The pictures were so relevant to my situation, I wanted to use them as a form of evidence that I was hypnotized in court, and to prevent me from doing so, the jail guards would confiscate everything and anything I wrote and or drew so that I couldn't use the drawings as evidence in court. And I was also hypnotized to mess up the drawings to impair the integrity of the evidence and deter me from attempting to use the drawings as evidence I was hypnotized in court. The drawings were used to condition to condition me to develop learned helplessness and force me to give up trying to prove my innocence in court because I was hypnotized to feel severe confusion and dysphoria trying to write anything because they needed to make sure I wouldn't try to defend myself in court or be able to defend myself in court. I was hypnotized to feel euphoria drawing and to feel drawing was easy and enjoyable because they needed me to, me to draw so that the jail guards could confiscate all the request form copies I wrote and or drew on as contraband without allowing me to question why they would consider a letter to the judge written on the back of a request form as contraband. Hypnos Hypnosis utilized operant conditioning to promote behaviors that made it dip more difficult to defend myself in court with reward and positive reinforcement and deter deterred behavior, behavior that made it easier to defend myself in court with punishment and negative reinforcement. And the hypnosis utilized confusion so that I wouldn't realize what was happening. So that was part one of two. Um, Check out my next video. That's going to be hypnosis and drawings part two of two. Have a great night.